लेसन नंबर सेवन मोशन फोर्स एंड वर्क डिस्टेंस एंड डिस्प्लेसमेंट रंजीत हाउस एट प्लेस ए द फिगर अलॉन्ग साइड शोज द डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल्स बाय रंजीत टू रीच हिस्स स्कूल एट डी इफ वी डू नॉट टेक डिरेक्शन इन टू अकाउंट वी फाइंड दैट रंजीत ट्रेवल्स अ डिस्टेंस इक्वल टू ए बी प्लस बी सी प्लस सी डी हाउएवर ऑन डूइंग दिस हिस्स डिस्प्लेसमेंट वॉज इक्वल टू ए डी रंजीत डिस्प्लेसमेंट फ्रॉम हिज हाउस टू द स्कूल इज शोन इन द पिक्चर विथ अ ब्रोकन लाइन ए डी ए डी इज द मिनिमम डिस्टेंस अलॉन्ग द स्ट्रेट लाइन फ्रॉम रंजीत हाउस टू द स्कूल द मिनिमम डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल्स इन अ पर्टिकुलर डिरेक्शन अलॉन्ग द स्ट्रेट लाइन is called displacement speed and velocity when we say that the speed of a car is 40 km per hour there is no need to specify the direction but to predict whether a storm will reach a particular place or not a mention of its direction is essential distance the length of route actually traversed by the moving car irrespective of the direction is called distance distance is a scalar quantity displacement the minimum distance traversed by a moving body in one direction from the original point to reach the final point is called displacement in displacement both distance and directions are taken into account therefore displacement is a vector quantity The unit of measurement of distance and displacement is the meter. In the SI as well as in the MKS system of measurement. Velocity. Velocity is the distance traversed by a body in a specific direction in unit time. The velocity of a body can be calculated by the following formula. Velocity equals displacement upon period of time required for the displacement let's find the unit task speed velocity write the formula speed equals velocity equals write the units of the quantities distance time period displacement time period insert the units instead of quantities in the formula you will get the unit of speed and velocity let us now use the above formula to find out ranjit's velocity and speed when he goes to school as shown in figure the actual distance traversed by ranjit from home to school equals ab plus bc plus cd that is equal to 500 meters plus 700 meter plus 300 meter equals to 1500 meter total time from home to school plus 8 minutes plus 11 minutes plus 6 minutes equals to 25 minutes ranjit's displacement from home to school ad equals 1000 meters thus ranjit's velocity when going from home to school velocity equals displacement upon total time that is equal to 1000 meters upon 25 minutes equals to 40 meters to upon 60 seconds the answer is 0.66 meters per second ranjit speed while going to school speed that is equal to distance traversed upon total time equals 1500 meters upon 25 meters equals to 16 meters upon 60 second equals to 1 meter per second ranjit did not take a straight route of minimum distance while going to the school therefore the magnitude of his velocity and speed came out to be different had ranjit actually gone by the straight route ad then the magnitude of his velocity and speed would have been the same average velocity and instantaneous velocity the velocity of an object can change even while it is moving alongside a straight line
Suppose that a truck is covering a distance of 40 kilometers from A to D in a straight line. That is, its displacement will be 40 kilometers. If it requires altogether one hour of this, its average velocity is 40 kilometers per hour. However, if the truck traverses the 10 kilometer distance AB in 10 minutes, BC in 20 minutes, and CD in 30 minutes, then velocity of the distance AB in kilometer per hour equals 10 kilometers upon 10 minutes. That is equal to 60 kilometers upon 60 minutes equals to 60 kilometer per hour. Now reduce the velocities for the distances BC and CD. We see that the velocity of the truck is different in the different segments of the road AB, BC, CD. However, the average velocity of the entire route AD is 40 kilometers per hour. The velocity at a particular moment of the time is called instantaneous velocity. The instantaneous velocity can be different at different times. Acceleration In the previous example, the truck covered the distance AB at the velocity of 60 km per hour, BC at 30 km per hour and CD at 40 km per hour. It means that the velocity of the distance BC from the number of seconds required for this change in velocity to take place, the change in velocity per second can be deduced. This is called acceleration. You know that the truck driver increases or decreases the velocity of the truck by means of the accelerator. You might have seen a toy car that runs on a clockwork spring. When it is released on a flat floor, after winding up the spring, it goes in a straight line. However, when it is hit on one side, it changes direction and keeps going. If it collides into a wall, it stops. It means that its velocity changes. How did this change take place? It happens because the car comes into contact with something external to it. On a football ground, how does the direction of the ball moving in a straight line change? We see some player changing its direction by kicking in. When its direction changes, the velocity of ball about the acceleration is called force. Force acts on a body. Force and acceleration. Take a glass marble and let it roll on a big smooth tabletop. After some time its velocity will decrease and it will stop. On a carom board too, the carom coin pushed by the striker will move forward some distance and then come to stop. If the coin is pushed after applying talcum powder to a carom board, it will keep moving for a longer time and then come to a stop. The stop of the coin decreases due to the force of friction and coin stops. If the friction between the carom board and the coin is reduced, the coin keeps moving for a longer time. It would mean that if no force of friction is acting on a moving body, it will keep on moving with a constant velocity. The scientist Sir Isaac Newton was the first to study force and resulting acceleration. Newton's first law of motion. If no force is acting on a body, its velocity does not change. That is, body does not accelerate. In other words, if a body is stationary, it will remain stationary. If it is in motion, it will come continue moving with same velocity and in the direction. You have learned what is meant by force. You have seen that body is accelerated due to force. Suppose you place a 1 kg standard weight on a surface with no friction and pull it with an acceleration of 1 meter per second. The force applied is called 1N. Force displacement and work. In the figure alongside, a string attached to the wooden block on a table is passed over a pulley and tied to a weight. 
on applying a sufficient weight the block will seem to move if the block moves forward we can say it has been displaced due to the displacement we say that the force has done some work can we measure this work we know that work done depends on force and the displacement the following formula expresses this relationship work into brackets w done by the force equals force into bracket s applied to the body x displacement into bracket s of the body then takes place in the direction of the force w equals f x s in the si system the unit of work is joule while the unit of force is newton capital n and the unit of displacement is meter into bracket m in the cgs system the unit of work is